This is Nick. I'm Nick. And he's been a good friend of mine for years, and he's always down to help with any of my builds, from routine maintenance to restoring rust buckets. He's always willing to help without much complaint. Thank you. You're welcome. So when he and his dad, Russ, told me that they had purchased an MR2 for a track car, I was ecstatic to help build it. So here's the plan. Source some top tier parts, blow up the engine. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh no. Wait, blow up the engine? That's not part of the plan. Oh well, replace that blown up engine with a newer engine, install that new engine, boost it, tune it, track it, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to Black Pearl Media and the continuation of the MR2 series. If you missed the previous video, I'll link it down below, but here's a little recap. Oh, what is that? No. Oh, oh no, <laughs> we actually blew it up. We actually blew it That's up. That's awesome. I didn't do anything. You didn't do anything? Oh my gosh, I didn't either. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> That's great. As you can see, we blew up the engine and we're in need of another one. Fortunately, we had actually already planned to be doing this engine swap. So we had picked up one from a junkyard a few weeks back and we're gonna get into which engine we picked soon. But first, we need to pick up the turbo kit from our sponsor, turbokits.com. There are really only a few options when it comes to forced induction uh, for the MR2. Uh, and TurboKits.com is one of the main ones, and they just so happen to be a few towns over. The owner, Jesse, has been super helpful when it comes to ordering the kit and just pointing us in the right direction for all the necessary supporting mods like injectors, ECU, injection, meth injection, thermal coating, all the extras. Fortunately, because they were so close, we were able to just go over, check out the location, and see the kit laid out before we packed it up and went back home. One of the big things you'll notice is that there is no intercooler with this kit. Uh, this may be a source of controversy, but Jesse has actually determined through dyno research that a traditional air-to-air -air intercooler will become heat-soaked in the back of the MR2. So instead, he's gone with a water methanol injection system from AEM to cool the charge air. The piping is also set up really nicely if we ever just wanted to add a water-to-air intercooler at some point in the future. We'll have an installation video coming up shortly about the water meth installation, so be sure to subscribe. The turbo itself is a billet ball bearing T28 turbo good for about 400 horsepower, comes with a 7 PSI actuator, and it's a drop-in replacement for a Garrett GT28 RS and is designed specifically for TurboKits.com and should be a perfect fit for this application. So one of my favorite details about this kit is the thermal coating. Now Gene with Central CT Coatings hooked us up with his Extreme Black formula. This has two awesome benefits. One, it keeps the heat out of the engine bay and it keeps the heat in the exhaust gases, which makes it way more efficient and helps improve reliability. We're super excited to be working with turbo kits on this build and it's just killing me that the car has been off the road for this long. We're excited to unveil what engine we got for the car in the next video, but here's a preview to wet your whistle. Go ahead and caress that like and subscribe button while you watch it. And has a little spout. How convenient is that, huh? 